Hello and welcome back to day six, which is Saturday, um, of Stardew Valley. Um, so last time we, uh, uh, what did we do? We cut down a load of trees and we got a little bridge to uh, the other side of the beach where we've got some coral. Um, so just check in what it's like today. Um, if you seek, you know, it's going to be like spirits are displeased, going to make our life difficult. That just what you want to hear when you go to the mine. Ooh, someone's got a. Um, dear Farmer Kado, I'd like to apologise for joking about your grandpa's old cottage when we first met. It's a really nice mm -hmm. little house. However, you might need to spend uh, more space some days, so that's where I can help. If you bring me some raw materials and pay a fee, I can expand your house. The first expansion I offer includes a kitchen. With a kitchen, you'll be able to cook any recipes that you learn. Anyway, I hope you're starting to feel at home in Stardew Valley. Your local carpenter, Robin. Thanks, Robin. So I think we're a little way off uh, that. Although what I would like to do is build a scarecrow, but we need 50 wood, 1 coal and 20 fibre, and we have like 11 wood. And now I wanted to do mine today, I just want to get a scarecrow sorted. And I also want to chop down this, in case it's a maple tree. I don't know if it's this one or the one next to it. Because then I can build some field snacks. I didn't drop down any. Just give me... No, I want that. I don't, I don't have a scythe. Where's my scythe? Probably away somewhere. Wood, eight. That gives me 14 wood. It's not quite enough. I need 50 for the scarecrow. <laughs> it's just a nice peace of mind. It covers quite a large area and it just means that you won't lose any crops to the crows like I did with my beans earlier on especially since beans take like an age to grow as for, do cauliflower and stuff like that uh, that's acorns wood 33 I think we've got about 11 so I'll give you 44 need one more tree let's do this one as well no, I didn't really want to do it because I want to spend all my time mining but Actually, while we're just over at this site, let's just have a quick check to see if there's forage, which there is. And I might even eat that horseradish now, just to give me a little boost of energy before I go to the mine to kind of replace some of that, some that we used. Ooh, yes, leeks. I knew there was a forage item I was forgetting about. <coughs> Sorry. Um, I forgot about leeks. How could I forget about leeks? I do believe we've got the four forage items that we need for the community centre bundle. Not that we can see the community centre just yet. Might swing by there in case Mayor Lewis is there today. On our way to the mine. Right, so let's um, do it like that. can go in here, that can go in here. We've got exactly 50 wood. Um, what else did I need? I needed some fibre and some coal. Let's just build the scarecrow. Nope. So scarecrow can go. <laughs> I don't want to, I'm gonna put it here. I think it does that area. I could be wrong. <coughs> Sorry about that. And it just keeps the crows away. Alright, so let's uh, leave you, leave you. I'm probably gonna eat you. I've already got one of you there. Um, and actually I'm gonna take a couple extra leaks. I'm gonna chomp those down now. Ooh, they got good health actually. But I need to leave you. I'm going to need one from the community. I want to keep one with the star in the case I need to give it to anyone. Um, yep. So I'm going to eat some things. Notably you. Yes. Just to get our health up. And you. I'm going to keep those. We can take those with us. We can eat them as we go. Uh, I don't need an axe. Just need my hoe and pickaxe. Just in case. Just taking the hoe in case there's some worms. Because I'm ever hopeful. And I haven't seen a single one yet. Which is really annoying. Because what I really would have loved is to dig up an ancient seed. Because that gives you loads of stuff and you can grow it for most of the year. But there's no worms. Worms are just not my friends today, apparently. That and the spirits are displeased, but even when the spirits are pleased, they don't seem to be able, haven't seemed to made much of a difference for my worm finding. So 
starting to believe there aren't worms. Maybe I've just been imagining worms for the entire last time I played it. Or am I blind? I could be massively blind and not be able to see this. I do have glasses. So, maybe I am. Ooh, another leak. That's going to be good for your eatings. Uh, and this is telling us something. What is this telling us? Advancement. Oh, because we built the scarecrow, we get an extra 100 gold. We could buy some crops, but I think we've got a fairly sizable section at the moment. Worms! I wasn't imagining it. There are worms! And I've got a prehistoric skull, which I can give to Gunther. My god. I was seriously doubt, starting to doubt my sanity. Um, I don't need to go down there. So I'm going to go in the mine. A bit later than I was hoping for, but we're there. Oh, I'll we meet someone new. Hmm. <clears throat> Can I do a gruff voice? Probably not. I was just peering down into the old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. That's not really gruff. It's just like a smoker. Still, they're probably good ore down there. But a dark place, undisturbed for so long. I'm afraid, or isn't the only thing you'll find. Here, take this. You might need it. Well, thanks, Marlon. A sword! Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo. You received a rusty sword. Did it have to be rusty? Name's Marlon, by the way. I run the Adventurer's Guild right outside. And slightly to the right. I'll keep my eye on you. Prove yourself, and I might think about making you a member. Thanks, Marlon. So I've got a sword now. And I'm going to put it there, so it's easy to remember. Shove you down there. Let's put you with the food. Don't know why. Right, so we're going to pop down here. So we've got some ores. Have we got anything I need to use the sword on? No. Right, so let's just start chopping away. So we're looking for some ladder down. Oh, we've got a bug. Oh, we've got some ore. Nice. Let's just kill the bug. Get some bug meat and use our pickaxe. So these ones with the orange nodes or whatever they are uh, gives you copper, and other ones give you less. Obviously, if you want like steel or gold, you need to go further down because they don't appear this close to the surface. Ooh, that got a bit cold. Coal is really useful, and it's a bit hard to get early-ish on. There is a um, thing that you can build later on that turns wood into coal, which is quite useful. Um, right. Sometimes enemies drop the ladders, so sometimes it's often worth just uh, killing all the enemies. Uh, and you know what you see, do you get random ores occasionally from killing the, uh, breaking the normal rocks. Um, but what you want to do, ooh, that's an, a quartz. Gumpher can tell us about this. You see, we're getting we're full, so we find anything new, we can't add it to our inventory, which is kind of annoying. Um, but what you need to do, or what you try to do, is to go down at least to level five or levels in lots of five. Because ooh, what's this? Explore the mines. Reach level five in the mines. Because at level five in the mines, you uh, come across a um, lift or elevator, so you can always get back to that particular level. Let's kill this thing. Oh, how have I face the right way? Um, too full to have slime. And you can see we've got a uh, ladder in the top right there, but the bug we killed also dropped another ladder, so you can get multiple ladders on levels. I'm going to pick that up. And there's a thing over here. I kind of want to bring the slime. So what I might do is eat my horseradish. Because that will free up a slot. And it only gives me five health. So I don't need to worry about needing health. And it just gives me a little bit more energy. Because we are almost on half energy. That wood. Well, we don't really need wood. Um, so let's go down to the level below. Alright, so if we go around one more level, we'll find a lift. Oh, no, Geo, that we want. Um, what do we not want? Oh, I need that. Kind of like, that's two. Do I want to eat them both now? 
it's not going to give me much health at all. Um, well, there's quite a few. I don't, I don't think I'm going to be in too much trouble from enemies. I'm not sure I really need slime to be honest. So let's eat these. Yes, eat a leak. Let's get our energy back. This is why you need a bigger backpack. Because then you can carry stuff. I mean, if I brought all my tools with me, I wouldn't be able to carry anything. Because I've got so little space. Let's get this copper. We do need quite a bit of copper ore. Especially at the start. Um, don't really need the bug meat, to be honest. You use it for bait. Is I think the only thing that you really use it for. Um, don't think there's anything over there, is there? No. Just checking to see if there's any kind of ore veins around. But it doesn't seem to be. Um, later on, you can also get bombs which blow up um, anything in like a radius. So if you need to clear out a whole section, that's quite useful. You can like put it here and then it'll blow up all these rocks, which makes it a bit fast and obviously doesn't cost energy. These grey ones take two hits, but they tend to give you multiple stone. Not that we really need any extra stone, but... Hmm. I don't know why, but when I'm searching for a ladder, I don't like... I don't get rid of everything in one go. Oh. Oh, you're a friggin', friggin' thing, aren't you? A crab. You're a crab. You're a rock crab. Ooh, that I want. I want that. Um, no, don't go away. Like sl slime can. F Ooh, no. Um, damn it. Uh, right, you're eating this. Yes, I am eating this because I want that crab because they're quite useful for the community bundle. And we got a cherry bomb, which I'm gonna put over here just to kind of show you how it works. It should blow up all of those like that, and it gives us the ladder. That's what we're looking for. Which does take us to five. So, so there's a lift here. And if I select that, I can go up to the thing, to ground floor. But I can also, from the ground floor, come straight back here. So I don't have to come through those top ones. What do you think you're doing, Krabby? Ow. It hurt me. Got hurt by a rock crab. How is that even possible? Um. Right, just get rid of a couple of these, just in case we get random copper ore, there's a way down, and just have a quick look to the side to see if there's anything, I don't think there's anything of particular interest, and I might just about be able to get down to level 10, which I would be quite happy with. Like I said, it's worth doing it in things of 5, so we get the lift back. Should be careful when standing on this. Uh, Oh, that hurt me as well. Um, sand, because occasionally there's monsters underneath. Oh, these are good. Uh, at the moment, I can't uh, hit those big boulders. I need to upgrade my pickaxe a little bit. I think the next one should let me do them in the mines. And then I need to upgrade it again to be able to do the ones on my farm. Uh, let's go around here. I think the lift. Oh, there's not a lift. Oh, yeah, there's a guy underneath. Ooh, it's an earth crystal, but I need to drop something, which I'm going to drop sap because we got loads. That's why it pays to have a bigger bag. Ooh, there we go. Let's go down here. Oh, there's monsters. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Got a little bit hurt at that time. Alright, let's get you. And let's try not to get hurt from it. Not doing particularly well on that front at the moment. And I've still got a few levels to go. Ah, uh, oh god, that's a blooming crab. There's a lot of monsters in this level. And I haven't got any more food to eat. I used all my food when I was trying to get rid. Oh, that's a cherry bomb. I kind of want that. Um, can I not like drop stuff on the floor? Ah, oh, I can drop stuff on the floor, that's nice. Um, where am I going to put this? I don't know where I'm going to put this. But I'm going to put this... <laughs> oh, it didn't blow up that guy. And it didn't give me a... Oh, I don't really 
want a slime. I don't really want the bug meat to be honest. <laughs> I might as well get something. Do I want to fight that thing in the ground? It's so annoying. There you go, it's dead. Just the one, isn't it? Yeah. Mm, I'm not finding a. Oh, what do you mean inventory loss for the app? Not finding a ladder. I could go for all of them. I'm getting lowish on health at the moment. Well, energy more than health, but. Oh, fridger, 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 fridger. Wasn't expecting you. I was just expecting to get the flying bugs. Not that you're particularly hard. And there's the. But you. I will kill you before I go down on that thing. Because I can. I'm also going to kill you. Again, because I can. Uh, and then. Ooh. Oh no, can't. I kind of want the bomb, but I could get rid of the coal, but coal is useful. Um, right, can I get down two levels within the hour, really? Probably not. Whatever you do, don't die down in the mine, because then you forget. I think if you die, you forget the last uh, 20 levels or something crazy like that, which is annoying. There might be a random amount of levels. If you just become exhausted in sleep, I think someone comes along and finds you. And I was lucky previously that Lewis, not Lewis, um, Linus, Linus came to find me. And he took me home. Oh, come on, I just need one lift. This is what happens. This is how I get exhausted. So I'm like, if I just get one, one more stairs. Just one more stairs and I can get a lift to level 10, which I really want. Ow. Drop a lift, drop a stairs, drop, drop a ladder, drop a ladder. No, you. And I'm getting exhausted as well. Uh, that's a bit annoying, I can't pick that up. Arr, arg. You know what I am? Screw, slime. Get away. I got that right. We're going to have to leave because it's one o'clock in the morning. Yes, leave the mines. Ah, so close to getting to level 10. So annoying. Right, I got hot footed it back to my bed because if it hits two o'clock, I will pass out. Ah, which is annoying. Can I do it? Can he make it? Oh, I don't know. It's got 40 minutes. rains. Normally the day after it rains it gets a load of stuff on the beach so tomorrow I've got to remember to go to the beach. Oh, how is it? I've got to navigate here without falling over stuff. Oh, so close. I'm not going to get into my bed am I? I'm in my room. Just so close. Um, cherry bomb I can now craft. Fantastic. Um, I do believe because we're exhausted. Oh no, we did it. If we had fallen asleep out there, we wouldn't have anywhere near a full bar of energy. So it's quite good to uh, make sure you get back to your bed so you can do a little stuff the next day. But we did pick up loads of stuff which we're going to sell, use, let's go see Clint. Um, and the rest of the stuff we can use in Clint. 33 copper is not bad for a first trip. Um, but we're going to leave it there for now because it's been almost 20 minutes. And when we come back, we'll see Clint. Uh, oh, it's Lewis's birthday, so I have to give him something. I think maybe give him a tur uh, parsnip. Okay. Um, but yeah, that'll be for t next time. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you again next time. Bye bye. <laughs>